This is the story of one man's battle to produce budget music videos in the early 21st century. My name's Leonard Valve, and this has been my 10-year mission to avoid court proceedings, bankruptcy, and not to end up living on a park bench. It's a story of people who could start a fight with their own shadow, and quite often do. A story of overinflated egos, tantrums, delusion, and alcohol dependency. And that's me on a good day. These are my music video diaries. The art of music videos has been evolving for a very long time. From the first flickering lantern lit moving images, right through to smack my bitch up, man has strove to capture and enhance the essence and experience of music via the medium of the moving image. With the popular music revolution of the 1950s and the invention of the quiff, the excitement of this brave new world was captured on film. In the macabre twist, even Cliff Richard made film. Then, as the music itself and the mechanisms to bring music to market evolved, so did the music promo films. What was originally seen as a way of giving Pan's people a night off from Top of the Pops soon became a major part of an artist's promotional strategy and the music video was born. With the launch of MTV in the early 1980s, the evolution of the music video continued at a lightning pace and very soon evolved into big budget mini-movies that had TV premieres that became must-see events. Before long, music videos became as big a part of the music industry as the music itself. But the only way an artist could ever dream of having a professional standard music video produced would be if they had landed a pretty major record deal. To enable them to fly their entire entourage first class to Monaco to film piles of money burning on the beach at sunset as a white grand piano drifts out to sea. But then, as the music videos evolved, so did the technology that made them. I bought a cheap editing computer and a second-hand camcorder and in a field near Rotherham, an empire was born. So how does an uneducated, middle-aged, borderline alcoholic working with woefully outdated gear from a damp caravan in a little low-mark town in the north of England break into the high fashion, on trend and extremely London centric world of producing music videos. I hear you ask. Alright, we just set up this super epic B-roll scene. It all starts with a phone call. Hello, mate. Hello, yeah, yeah, it's out the corner films. Yes, this is round the corner films. How can I help you? Alright, right, right, yeah, yeah, you see what it is? I've been rapping ever since I was 14. And the right. point is, right, I recorded this EP, and the first track is called You Were the One, One Love. And it's like I'm dropping it as a single. And it's about this guy, right? He struggles out on the street, and it's kind of like my story, you know, you get me? Okay. And Mrs. Girl, right? And, and what it is, he right. meets his girl, but she do not know that he's a rapper. But it's me, you see, and I need a car, and I need a collab scene. I can stand the pain no longer and interject. So I'm guessing that you want to make a music video. Yeah, I need a video, innit? A fighting video. Yo. Okay, well, um, let's cut straight to the quick, right? I've got two questions for you. Do you have any specific ideas or looks in mind for your video? And do you have a ballpark idea of the kind of budget that you're looking at spending? In it. 
I already know that asking this question is completely futile, as I've already deduced from his opening line that the punter on the phone, or MC Fishcake as we should call him, can't fucking read, and like most wannabes these days, our Mr Fishcake woke up one morning and after having a bowl of Cocoa Pops and his first split of the day, watched a couple of Snoop Doggy Dog videos on YouTube and decided that he wanted to be in the music business. Not stopping for a single moment to consider if he actually had any God-given talent. The line goes silent. He's either run out of phone credit or he's having some kind of seizure at being asked two questions at once. Because what is right? Ah, he's back with us. Yeah, what is yeah? At this point, I should probably explain the relevance of the dreaded phrase... What is right? Anyone who starts a sentence with... What is right? ...is either about to talk utter bullshit or blatantly lie to you. MC Fishcake continues. What is right? Release. Now there's an interesting word I hear used a lot. To release a track means to drop a track onto your army of loyal fans and followers who are hungry to hear your new work. Fans who would devour your new masterpiece like piranhas gorging on a dog carcass. The only problem is... What if no one has ever actually heard of you? What if your only fans are your mum and your mate Gerard's autistic girlfriend? That kind of makes the concept of releasing a track akin to releasing a dead pigeon from a cage. Go fly! Thump. So as we've established, lack of any kind of discernible talent or fan base, or any kind of grip on reality whatsoever, does little to discourage my average wannabe potential music video client. And thank God, I'll be out of business. Welcome to the world of a music video producer. You'll have to excuse me if I do come over as being ever so slightly cynical about the music business in the 21st century. That's because I fucking well am. So, back to MC Fishcake. I ask him again what his budget is. So, do you have any kind of idea of your budget for the video? Because wait, what are you trying? Straight after this, we're going to need another. And we're going to have a good budget for that. Ah. The sugar-coated carrot is now being dangled in front of me. So if I do this video for free, or for very little money, once you've made it big and signed a 10-album deal with the MI, we're off to the Bahamas on a 50 grand budget for the next one! Well, that's reassuring to know. Okay. So maybe third time lucky with a budget question. So... What is your actual budget for this video? MC Fishcake has gone silent again. But I think I can hear breathing. Because what is right? Another one of the laws of engagement with a potential client is that when you ask them what their budget is and they enter into some protracted story about release dates and which tracks still need mastering or the whole story of how the death of either a brother or a beloved pet inspired them to become a rapper. Because his killers was our next door neighbours with my daddy Langan who would save us. My life, my pain, my struggle, my lane, oh. It usually means they're getting about an intense shycock about admitting that they haven't actually got a pot to piss in, let alone enough money to produce a decent music video. They will often try to deflect away from the small matter of their actual budget being 27 pence, a few foreign coins, some buttons and fluff by dangling the sugar-coated carrot of bigger and better things. If I do this one for free and they become the next Snoop Doggy Dog overnight, they will almost certainly be having me living like a king on the set of the next music video. Having my drinks brought to me by scantily clad music video hoes, I'll have my own luxury trailer with free booze and nibbles. Gorgeous. But as Mr. Fishcake has already played that card, He's fast running out of places to hide from admitting that he has no budget for his video. 
in an attempt to both stay awake and maintain my patience with what might be, just might be, next month's mortgage payment, I shift up a gear. You see, we work with a vast range of budgets, from a few hundred right up to tens of thousands. Yes, I wish. So, to enable me to know what kind of level you're coming in at, and what options I can offer you, I need to have some kind of idea of your available budget for this video. Fishcake goes quiet once more. Hello? Hello? Have you gone? Which part of Tottenham are you based? What? We're not in Tottenham. You're not in Tottenham! I thought you were based in Tottenham! Why would you think that we're based in Tottenham? Where, where did it even say that we're based in Tottenham? What part of East London are you based? Just as there are people who believe that the Earth is flat, there are people who believe that planet Earth solely consists of London. And if you were foolish enough to try to venture beyond the boundaries of the M25, you would simply fall off into the frozen emptiness of space. But there are also people men from Tottenham, who think the tales of anything existing beyond the North Circular and that distant land of Wood Green and Chingford are nothing more than pure urban myths. People like our Mr Fishcake, who also thinks that a career as an international rap superstar couldn't be undertaken from a barber's shop on Tottenham High Road without ever venturing any further than Walthamstow. You see, I've got this vision. Okay. So let's hear your vision. After yet another long pause, Fishcake gets back into his stride. Right, the first shot is of this beach, and there's this girl walking down the beach in it, and, and there's a villa with a right, can, can I just stop you there? A car. I really do need some kind of idea of what kind of budget you're on, because villas and beaches don't come cheap. Can, can you at least give me some idea of your budget? It's the cheapest you do. In my mind's eye, I see next month's mortgage payment drifting away into the foggy night. Do I confront Mr. Fishcake with reality? Or do I continue to try to nail jelly to the wall for the next 20 minutes? I take the first option as my cup of tea is getting cold. Okay. Okay. We could do you... Um, a half decent video for about five hundred pounds. Is that gonna include the helicopter? Helicopter? But what helicopter? It says on your website that you've got a helicopter and villas and pools and you've got beaches and gardens and all the cars and shit in it. And, and you've got this first shot on the beach and it needs to be from a helicopter. No, I don't, I don't actually personally own a helicopter. You, we could hire you one, but not on a £500 budget. If you want us to provide helicopters, cars and models, you'd have to be looking at a much higher budget. And, and, and if you want villas and beaches, you'd be looking at shooting overseas, which again, you can't do on a 500 quid budget. You've got all the website and you've got all this shit, man. No, you've got all the pictures and pictures and pictures. I'm talking about it. I'm so dumb, man. I'm looking at it now. I'm looking at it now. And you're not even in Tottenham or something. But you obviously know Tottenham far better than I do. So can I ask exactly where in Tottenham there's a sandy beach with clear blue water next to a Mediterranean yeah, villa with a pool outside? Got all this. I'm looking at it now. I'm looking at it now. These locations are in Spain and Portugal and the south of France. They're not in fucking Tottenham. You don't really need to know any more about how that particular call ended. But our friend MC Fishcake is a prime example of what's happening to what should be the seedlings of talent that exist in the rock balls that will spawn the next generation of the music industry. The only positive note regarding the MC Fishcakes of this world is that within six months the dream will be dead and it will be back to shelf stacking at Tesco's. And within a year he will have no memory whatsoever of his brief dalliance into the heady world of the music business. Thank 